In this video, we're going to look at the ordered set notation for vectors. The truth is we don't use ordered set notation that much in physics. However, it will set up the component form, which we use extensively. Also, in most calculus courses that do vectors, they use the ordered set notation almost exclusively. Remember a vector is an object that requires a magnitude and a direction to completely define it. Vectors are objects that you can translate without changing their meaning, as long as you don't rotate them. So I have a vector here. Let's establish a coordinate system. It can be anywhere. And I'll translate my vector so that the tail is at the origin of the coordinate system. Next, I want to identify the point in the coordinate system that corresponds to the tip of the vector. For this one, that point is 4, 3. And that's called an ordered pair. An ordered pair is an ordered set of two elements, and an ordered set just means that the order of the elements is important. My ordered set notation for my vector, then, is just those two numbers with any appropriate units in a set. So I would write my vector this way. The ordered set notation is the ordered set of coordinates of the point where the tip of the vector would be if the tail is at the origin. Notice that it doesn't have to just be a displacement vector. If it were a velocity vector, I would find the points in the same way. I would have units of velocity for each of my numbers. In three dimensions, the same thing happens. Translate the vector so that the tail is at the origin. I find the point corresponding to the tip, and then the vector is the ordered triplet. Just remember the difference. This first ordered triplet represents that point, where this ordered triplet represents this vector. It's one thing to say, I'm going to translate the vector. How do you do that mathematically? If I have a vector where the tail is not at the origin, I need to find both points, the point corresponding to the tail and the point corresponding to the tip. For this vector, I've identified the points 5, 2 for the tail and 9, 5 for the tip. To calculate the vector, I just take the differences of the x values for the first point and the differences for the y values for the second, which is now the same vector. 9 minus 5 is 4, and 5 minus 2 is 3. You can see how that works if you look at the graph. If point B has the coordinates 9, 5, that means if I draw a line straight to the x-axis, it will be at the x-coordinate 9. If I draw a line straight to the y-axis, it'll be at a coordinate 5. Same thing with point A for 5 and 2. And so now if you look at the differences, this distance along the x-axis between those points are 4. This distance is 3. If you were to translate that so that this tip were at the origin, then 4 and 3 would be the point that the tip would be at. In three dimensions, we extend it in exactly the same way. You just take the differences of all three coordinates. For example, if I have a vector whose tail is at 4, 3, negative 2, and tip is at negative 2, 2, 6, then that vector is negative 2 minus 4, minus 6, 2 minus 3, which is negative 1, and 6 minus a negative 2, which is 8.